Hello beautiful people around the web. This is Nikos HD. Today I have a video for you which is basically the demo man and how to play him in man vs machines. This is a guide and video tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy it and can learn something out of it. We see us in the review, I, I guess. <laughs> there are three things that I want to cover. First, weapons and upgrades. A second, the way to play. And third, important things to watch out for. Let's start with the weapons and upgrades. The weapon that you use is the Sticky Bomb Launcher or the Scottish Resistance. There may be exceptions, but if you want to be generally good and well accepted and have success, then I would recommend those first. We can go maybe into detail in another videos, in another video maybe, where I cover alternate play uh, possibilities basically. Okay, guess, let's get to the upgrade. First of all, you want to go for reload speed and second, firing speed. Having reload speed slightly better than firing speed is good, but still both somewhat equally distributed. It depends on the map and wave and other players, such as medic and engineer and scout, what, it, what comes next. Because third, either you skill one time health on kill, or ammo capacity, or straight up the damage. Health on kill is upgraded if the medic is not good enough and you can get a hold of last hit kills. The ammo capacity if the engineer can't keep up his dispenser or has a bad placing or position positioning of the dispenser. The damage is the best option. If everything falls into place, just go for the damage, which is generally recommended. A side note here, clip size can be very useful, but always think of this. You don't reload the whole clip at once, and you always reload one by one. If you burn through the whole clip and reach zero stickies, you're on the same damage output level as the not clip size upgrade version. It can be useful for a short burst of damage if combined with crits and a full clip to begin with, but otherwise the priority would still be the damage upgrade. Fourth, resistances. Get always the critical resistance up first, depending on the wave and um, if you ever are going to upgrade anything at the crit resistance category, it will always be at all times the crit resistance first. Otherwise, you will upgrade the Sticky Bomb Launcher or the Scottish Resistance first. Fifth, which is optional, jump height, movement speed or the rest of the resistance categories like bullet resistance or blast resistance. You will never need uh, the fire resistance in the two city up update or the two city maps, which is Manhattan or Rottenburg. And um, if you have the jump height, I mean, jump height and movement speed would be very useful ex for experienced players and skillful players who are capable of a fast-paced repositioning. Very effective with a rather immobile and overall bad team. And the resistances are always useful. The longer you survive, the more damage you can put out. Also, you won't lose as uh, you well play sticky traps if you die before detonating them, especially with the Scottish resistance with your like, cl clusters laying around. Alright, let's get to the second part. Way to play. The first thing is sticky traps or uber medic bots. That is your priority. The task that you are meant to be there for, basically. There are uber bots most of the times in most of the waivers, and they drop down from the basic the basic runway, and you can see them approaching with the giant bots, uh, most of the times at least. And when they come down, you prepare yourself as you lay sticky traps of a sticky trap in front of them as they drop basically and make them run over it. You have a little bit to distribute the stickies over the place but not spread them too much apart from each other because if the damage explosion radius overlap it is um, the perfect setup. It's even more perfect if the medic gives you crits if he doesn't encourage him but if you have the crits then you basically one shot almost anyone or anything, especially with the Scottish Resistance. That is the purpose of the Scottish Resistance. But I like the Sticky Bomb Launcher anyway, so try to get the medic, spot, medic bots and explode like more than one Sticky Bomb at, at once, so we get all of them with one try without them popping uber. Second, massive area damage or AE damage. Firing the stickies and detonating them in mid-air, in front or in between of large enemy, enemy groups is essential. It's basically left and right clicking, but timing that left and right click to make it more effective is very uh, useful, basically. If you shoot them directly, 
if you shoot robots directly, it just uh, bounces off, the, the stick bounces off and won't do anything because um, the delay makes it basically that you can't explode it near them. And that happens especially if you um, try to get giant robots and you just shoot directly at them, try to hit the, the foot basically or make, make the sticky bomb explode in mid-air, but then it's difficult to pull off with a giant bot, so try to aim for the feet on gi for giant bots and try to to aim for feet and air uh, for little, uh, like smaller enemy groups. Your, sec your third thing to do is guarding the bomb. And there's a scene where I lay sticky traps and there are like three or four giant scouts incoming and I detonate them at once and kill any one of them, any of them. So it is very effective. Try to, if there is a huge mess going on and you don't know where to aim, Try always to go for the bomb because that is where the bot bots go. And the, if there is any bot like roaming around, don't mind them because they can't do anything. They can't deploy the bomb. The only thing they can do is go to the next gate and to try to advance. You can you have to stop them. You are a roamer side with alongside with the soldier, but try to guard the the, the bomb at first because that's where the bot uh, bots go, and that's where you mo where the damage lies basically. Try to use the sticky jumps to get up the first level and to support the engineer on Manhattan or generally chase down super scouts with a bomb and lay down the sticky trap for him to step on and then of course detonate it to make him die. That is uh, one of your things too, especially useful on Barbarian Bot Bash, uh, the, uh, the Rotten Bot maps most of the times, what, what I've seen, because I don't know, it just ha so, sort of happens that it is most of the times there that the scouts come through, I think at least. The fifth or fourth thing to watch out for is not to use canteens unless your team is good enough to support that. I mean canteens, in my opinion, is just a waste of money unless it's used on the last wave or with spare money since you spend at least 100 bucks for one crit charge and only get the crit canteens if you buy them and at least uh, it, la it lasts for like 5 seconds. A short burst of damage is not equal to the amount of passive damage overall you make or deal out and that you could have dealt if you spend the money into the damage upgrades of reload speed, firing speed, etc, etc. Or like even the resistances because you don't have to retreat that often and you don't die that often, you don't have the downtimes that long. So there are more ways to get damage out and not using the quick canteens. Last thing is very short. Important things to watch out for. Third. First of all, kill engineer bots. They are very terrifying sometimes if there's like a bajillion of energy bots coming through and they just build everywhere and it's so fast that they build and they have like four times as much health as a usual bot has and it's it's ridiculous sometimes so try to kill the engineer bots and if they deploy somewhere chase them down and kill them one by one it's your job you're the demo man you're demolitions man and not like a friendly friendly bot man so always go for the engineers so the engine nests don't camp around you and get you chased and get you like locked down second try to get to know map details such as the giant huntsman bots on manhattan second wave i think it is on this mission mission uh, I, I i just play it in as i talk where there's like um two two or three i think it was three right now um giant sniper bots with a huntsman and a medic bot in his back who can uber and you just stay upstairs with the medic for the first crits that you lay down before the wave begins then completely demolish the uh, huntsman uh, your huntsman giant and then you just get the second cr uh, crit charge where you lay down another trap and you just proceed as you did it with the first one and on the on the third try the uh, medic just goes down and helps other people and you lay the sticky trap as usual just to at least kill the medic bot. If you have the Scottish resistance, it won't be a matter anyway. Anyways, I think if you have damage upgrade a little bit. So like those details or the when a tank comes where giants giants are like drop down from for example uh, in Bavarian Bot Bash or Rottenburg. And the fourth thing, encourage the medic to give you crits and lay down sticky traps at least when a giant bot is incoming. Like calling for medic, pressing E, voice commands such as go 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 or charge it dog or whatever. Just try to make clear that you want to have the charge if he's not up for the challenge basically of doing that. I mean most of the medics aren't. But fortunately there are some of them that are capable of doing that. So that should be it for the review or for the guide. I hope I could help you guys. We see us next time if you have 
questions or anything, just let me know. I am happy to answer anything and keep it up as always.